we're back, guys. All right, so last thing that we ever did, we got woken up in the middle of the night by the uh, crazy fairy lady who's, whatever that is, is going to be changing or chasing us. So, hello. So, yeah, that's what we got to do is chase her all over the fucking skyloft. Don't run out, don't run out. And she makes you do a fucking triathlon of shit to do. But you eventually do it. Jump, Geronimo. Oh, God. Got to make sure you make this gap, though. All right. Oh god, it fucking remember that cat that you had to deal with? Now it's fucking feral as hell at night. You end up having to fuck with it, but you can't kill it though. Whoa. Alright. Yeah, I feel bad doing it because it, it like gets all cry and whiny and you don't want to do that. Or just, you know, roll into that, that works as well. Oh, fucking Wiimote bullshit. Come on, come on. Ooh, there's actually something down here. Let me get that really quick, sorry. You can wait, lady, you can wait. No, oh, only 20 rupees. Don't- Oh, don't spend it all in one place, is what grandma would always say. Or what somebody's grandma would say. My grandma never said that. But, uh, somebody's did, I'm sure. So, I'm sorry, I didn't want to do it. You made me, stupid Nintendo, and you're- I realize you like eating cats and shit, but- Come on! I'm gonna run out of stamina. Come, Come on, no! Oh! Really? Oh great, now we gotta sit here and wait. I guess it's better that I have to sit here and wait anyways, so. Alright, let's try this again. I'm sorry, that sound. Oh god, this reminds me of like, kittens being upset and sad. Alright, come on. Leap, you fuck. Leap. Fucking, your fingers must be hurting right now. All that lactic acid building up in your muscles. Ugh. Alright. Are we done? Oh no, we gotta fuck- Oh, we're gonna run up a hill. Fucking bats. Fuck off. Nope. What did I get? Oh, nothing. Alright, come on. It's like fucking Ninja Warrior up in here. I like attacking things for stuff. There we go. Triple hit. Alright, apparently I'm supposed to jump to this area. I'm gonna probably fall off. Okay, good. Man, I'd be scared shitless right now. Fucking jumping over cliffs and such. Fucking green blob. Don't know what you're doing. Oh, okay. Well, no. Oh yeah. Here. Oh, climb, my good sir. Climb. Come on. There you go. Where are you taking me, lady? Or man, I, I'm sure I'm, you look kind of. You look pretty feminine. Finally. Hello. Pretty weird. Oh. What's this? Secret door? Secret door. I like it. Okay, here we go. Right in the ass of the queen, or the fucking goddess. Entering in the back door. I like it. Alright, so what is down here? Inside the statue of the goddess. Ooh, new sword. Thank God, so what I had was shit. <laughs> Hello. Look like you made of wax. The one chosen by my creator, I have been waiting for you. You will play a role in a great destiny. According to your social customs, I should provide you with my personal designation, Phi or Fee. I guess Phi, no, Phi is my name I was given. I was created for a single purpose, long before the recorded memory of your people. I must aid you in fulfilling the great destiny that is your burden to carry. Come, Levy, you must take up this sword. As the chosen one by my creator, it is your destiny. The strange dreams troubling your sleep, my sudden appearance, Uncertainty surrounds the fate of the one you hold dear. Under the circumstances, it is only logical that you would exhibit some apprehension. To minimize your uncertainty, allow me to share some information. My projections indicate that this information has a high probability of altering your current emotional state. Yeah? The one you seek, Honorable Zelda, is still alive. Oh! I did change my emotions, thank you. In this spirit maiden, the one you call Zelda, 
is another chosen one fated to be part of the same great mission. Therefore, should you wish to meet with your friend, I highly recommend you take up this sword before you and set out to search for her. Does that information invigorate you? Are you ready to accept this sword? You're damn right I am. I like your stockings. It seems the further persuasive measures will not be required. What were you going to do, suck my dick? In the name of my creator, draw the sword and raise it skyward. Ah, Skyward Sword. That's the name of the game. Da 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 da. Ready, stand. Wait, what? Oh, okay. And pull. Oh, fucking making me tilt the Wii remote and shit. Wait. Oh, sorry. Oh, uh, there we go. Sha slash. I was wondering why I wasn't doing it. No, I I have to be the one that controls that. You got the goddess sword. This mysterious sword is bathed in divine light. Bitchin. Recognition complete, master. Levy. My master. Damn right. Levy. I've had my suspicions, but until now, I wasn't sure. Yet here we are in the Chamber of the Sword, the very place where it was foretold the youth of legend would one day appear. It is said that this place was left to our people by the goddess herself. The very knowledge of this room's existence is a secret passed down to a select few each generation, along with a handful of words. When the light of the goddess's sword shines bright, the great apocalypse will wake from its slumber. Long slumber. Do not fear, for it is then when then a youth, guided by my hand, shall reveal himself in a place most sacred. It started days ago. The sword that I've been kept secret for all these years, it began to give off a faint, otherworldly light. At first I was sure I was seeing things, here alone and with the sword. There was simply no explanation. I never dreamed the prophecy of legend would come to pass in my lifetime. The words I have sworn to keep secret are coming true before my very eyes. The youth will be guided by one born of the blade. One who is also youthful in likeness, yet wise with the knowledge imme Im immeasurable. Ah uh, yes, the oral tradition, one of the least reliable methods of information retention and transmission. Jeez. It appears that critical sections of the passage have been lost over the generations. Oh. Do you have arms? The youth who draws forth the guiding sword shall be known as the goddess's chosen hero, and it is he who possesses an unbreakable spirit. He shall be burdened with the task of abolishing the shadow of apocalypse from the land, such is his destiny. With the spirit of the blade at his side, he shall soar over the clouds and plummet below. And united with the spirit maiden, should bring forth a piercing light that resurrects the land. My girl. Some of Father's old texts talk about a place called the surface. The old tales describe a, a whole world below far more vast than Skyloft. Master, you must embark on a great journey beneath the clouds to the vast realm of the surface. It is only through this journey that you could fulfill the mission set before you by my creator, the goddess. It is also the only method available for you to reunite with the spirit maiden, a honorable Zelda. Oh. This is no easy task, Lovey. The world below is a forsaken place, and to reach it, you must pierce the cloud barrier below. In living memory, no one has ever done this. You're gonna do it now. You don't have arms. Da 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 da. This tablet will illuminate a path through the clouds to the land below. Take it and place it within the altar behind me. You got the emerald tablet. The weather surface of this heavy stone tablet feels very old. I'm sure it is old. Master, the first thing you must do is hit the crest sitting in the room with the skyward strike. These blasts are formed of pure energy that charges within your blade when you lift it skyward. Once you have charged your blade, face the crest and swing your sword to send out a powerful skyward strike. 
Okay. Guess we're skyward striking. Wait for it. Oh, no, no, wait. Okay, let's do this. By the power of Grayskull! Yay, we did it! Yay, now I can put in the tablet. Ding, 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 bring. I like that sound like it's like on a harp. Place it in. A douche. What's gonna happen now? And away we go. Oh, now we can go down below the surface. Yeah. Master Levy, it is done. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world you know from the one below. The tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift in the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to the realm below. I have recognized you as my master, and so it is my duty to follow you wherever you may go. I reside within your sword and will accompany you in your travels. Press down to summon me whenever you require my assistance. Okay. Yay, got a sword partner. Lovey, listen a moment. The nature of the Great Apocalypse mentioned in the Old Text is a complete mystery to me. But whatever it turns out to be, it may seem that both you and Zelda have big roles to play in the destiny of this land. Just think, if this was Fi says is true, Zelda is alive. Alive and no doubt coming to terms with whatever it is the goddess has in store for her. Should you heed the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may have to face, Levy, especially down here. Down there. But if you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it's only the start of your journey. Please, see it through and prove the legend's true. Okay. Ooh. You do your people proud, Levy. Dawn is drawing near, and it's been a long night for both of us, hasn't it? It's been like 12 minutes, because that's what it says on my thing. You have a great journey before you, Levy, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. The uniform you were to receive for my winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much suitable for a longer journey. You'd better change before you go. <laughs> right. Oh, am I going to look awesome? Am I all green? Of course you're going to be all green. Sure, I'll save my progress. After fucking walking for 30 seconds and 10 minutes of... Ooh, yeah. He's looking dapper as fuck. Nice hat. Green's a good color. I'd go with purple, though. Purple's my favorite color. That green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. Ha! But oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. Is this as if you were born to wear it? Well, yeah, I've had like 20,000 fucking video games where I've been in it. Snazzy. Take care of you on your journey, and be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for your travels ahead. I will return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. You are always welcome to stop by if you have any questions. You and Zelda shall be in my prayers. May the goddess watch over you and guide you both. Can I, can I play the game now? Yeah? That's cool. Finally. See you later, old dude. Uh, okay. I guess that's all there is in here. So we're gonna go to the bazaar. And... I have a... What voice did I give him? Oh, I know what voice I gave him. That green uniform looks so adventurous. You should look like a knight now. The headmaster said you're heading out to look for Zelda. You're really something else. I could t never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. Because you're a pussy. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items in this handy piece of gear. And yet you can. You can add more slots. It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. It's neat because you can fit four things in it that you need on your big journey. You can carry buy all kinds of stuff at the bazaar that you can put in this pouch. You should go look. You could buy some potions and a shield. They fit in the pouch and they might come in handy on an adventure. 
Levy, I just want to know you'll find Zelda for us. Yep, I sure am, will. Hi. Hey, I just saw the news. Out of all of us, how come you only got promoted to senior class? Talk about stupid calls. Top of that, Garus won't come out of his room, and Zelda is missing. It's all your fault. Way to go there, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. I should fucking... Oh, I can't pull out my sword. I was gonna fucking slice you down. Alright, uh, let's go. We'll go to the bazaar, and then we'll start our, on our journey 15 minutes in. I'm, I'm glad to know that this, uh, this video has been half fucking cutscenes. That's what it's like. In, at least in these games. Do 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 Hello. I heard the news, Levy. Zelda's fallen down through the clouds, and you're going to look for her. Is that right? The headmaster told me there's land beneath the clouds. Do you know anything about that? So that's the famous sword. Ah, but it won't do you much good if you don't have a shield to protect yourself with. Here, take this with you. You got a wooden shield. This tight wood shield breaks easily and can burn, so be careful how you use it. The wood shield is light and maneuverable, but it's the weakest of all shields. Also, keep in mind that it's particularly vulnerable to fire. If it breaks, you can buy a new one at the bazaar. To equip the shield, press minus on the point at the Wii. Yes. If you're not sure how to use a shield, Knight Commander Ingo. I know how to use a goddamn shield. I played this game. Alright, I'm doing it. Shit. Look, and then you fucking go, ha, look, you hold out your fucking nunchuck part, and there you go. It's like real life. Okay, so we're gonna go to the. Wait, shield bash? Master, I have an update regarding the stone tablet and the resulting column of light it created. A column of light has appeared to the south of our location, and signs indicate that it has created an opening in the cloud barrier to the land below. I must also caution you that ascending to the surface armed only with a sword will result in a decreased probability of survival. If you have not already done so, I advise you to purchase the shield and potions at the bazaar in preparation for your journey. Another subject to discuss, Master. Oh my god. Once you are accustomed to the controls, you are free to modify the on-screen interface. On the gear screen, select the interface to change the on-screen display to suit your preferences. Okay, I guess I'm gonna... Oh, I guess I'm being forced to look at it. Oh, that's my map. Alright, I'm... Alright, standard. Oh, no, no, I don't fucking wanna... Oh, God damn it. Okay, it's calibrated. Great. Awesome. M mean to fucking calibrate it. I meant to touch interface. What's light do? Pro. Oh, I wanna be pro. I'm a pro. Wait. Hold on. What the hell is all this? Does that mean like what's on the screen as I'm as I'm doing stuff? Oh, I see. Pro is like where I wouldn't need to know anything. Well, I don't fucking care. I'm just gonna do it anyways. Oh, good douche. Grab some stuff. Why not? Okay, let's go to the bazaar. The bazaar is up here. Oh, calm down. The bazaar is open now. It should be at least. I don't want... Now, there's a guy flying in the sky over here, and he has another uh, He has another shop you can use, but I don't have a slingshot yet, so I can't really uh, call him. You have to, like, ring a bell that's on a ship, and you drop stuff down. All right, let's, uh, let's see what people got to sell. How about you, good buddy? Oh, yeah. Hey, welcome to the scrap shop. I can use the stuff you find to upgrade your gear and make it even stronger. And if your shield takes a beating, no worries. I can fix that too, so what'll it be? Let's, uh, let's upgrade some gear. Actually, no. Never mind. Hey, hey. What the was it? Well then, why'd you even come and talk to me? Because you got a pretty face. You're the person that stores stuff. You're the person that has a shield and stuff. But I don't have... There's no point I already have a shield. A potion, and I don't even have a bottle to put potions in. So thank you for the use- I just forgot how useless. Oh. What's this? What is this my eyes behold? Oh, young man, what calamitous visions appear before me. You may choose not to believe me, but my eyes foresee a hazardous thorny road ahead of you. But I can foresee what will befall you, for I am a fortune teller. Trust my piercing eyes. Listen to my pure and innocent voice. I will do you no harm. Gaze deeply into my eyes and come closer. Yeah, I'm good. He pretty much tells you what you already know. But without further ado, let's leave this freaking floating island and let's uh, let's go do what we need to do. Cause potions are for chumps, and you know what sucks? You can't jump off anywhere and have your fucking bird. You have to jump off on like pier type of dealies like this. Um, what do you gotta say? I just wanna talk to you. Hey, look up there! It's Beetle's airship. It's here. He sells bug nets there. I want one so bad. There's a bell hanging down from the shop, and if I if I hear if you ring it, Beetle will stop and pick you up. That bell is off the ground. You have to launch something at the hopes of ringing it. Uh, like, I don't have a slingshot yet, but I'm sure I will. Wait, wait, 
What? What now? Master, the column of light is visible from here. Really? I thought fucking green just shot from the sky normally. Dive off a ledge and call your locked one from here when you can see the column of light. It is time for you to set out on your search for Zelda. You can call off your locked one with... Okay, uh, okay, thank you. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I've done this. I like how it comes out of nowhere, like, it's gonna happen regardless. Now I gotta fucking fly this thing. I love my loft wing, though. He's cute. Alright, so where- Okay, oh, down here. Let's do a dive. Geronimo! Come on. Crazy-ass diving and shit. Master Levy, observe. The green pillar below you, before you is a column of light. It marks the point at which you can descend to the surface. You can confirm your current location on the map. Please see where you are in relation to Skyloft. Yeah? It appears that you will be able to reach the surface by passing through the portal in the clouds at the column's base. Thank you! Let's do it! Die bomb! See ya! Geronimo! And we're finally diving. Pretty crazy. Man, I feel like I've got nothing done. It's 21 minutes in, and I feel like all I've done is talk and jump off something. That's about it. And I'm probably gonna have like a thousand talks in this one as well. Ooh, nice and green. Foresty area. Even if you don't press it automatically, does it? So it doesn't really matter. Can I, can I move around? Oh, God. Master Levy, we've arrived. This is the fabled surface that has long been part of the Skyloft legend. By my calculations, you are currently positioned in a location known as the Sealed Grounds. Cool. Nice spirally down area. Da -da -da -da. Lots of areas to discover. Sealed grounds. Sweet. Holy shit, this place is huge. Cool. Oh, yeah. Please proceed with caution, Master. Okay. Let's proceed. Uh, might as well save all. Oh wait, I can't do anything with those just yet. Or wait, can I? I thought if I did a skyward strike, I can't remember. Let's let's try. Come on, fucking aim, Wemo. Okay, that doesn't do shit. Clearly, I'm doing wrong. All right. Oh yeah, fuck these things. Just still slice in the mouth. Come on. You get. Oh, you get a jelly blob. It may look like a boring wad of gunk, but it's used to make all sorts of things. Yeah, you collect lots of things to like improve your weapons and make shit. See, sometimes their mouths are open one way and sometimes the other, so you either have to do a horizontal or a vertical strike. Or sometimes you'll get ones where you gotta do both. Oh my god, what? Master, I have information for you. I have the ability to offer information on items and creatures you target with Z. While targeting something with Z, press down and I will brief you with all the information I know on the subject. Oh my god, I don't care. I don't need information. I know how to fucking kill those things. Ooh, dear. What was that? Fancy. Oh, dear. Well, now what? Oh, is that thing for my dreams? It up. Oh. I'm just loving these cutscenes. Fuck it up. Slice it. Cut it in the face. Well then. I don't know what you've been drinking or smoking, Link, but. 
I feel like I have a sneeze coming on, but it won't come. Am I supposed to jump down there? It's awfully windy. Come on. Thank you for the cutscene. Are you, and let me guess, you're gonna jump out, aren't you? Oh no, no, you're gonna let me actually go about my goddamn way. All right, I can't go into this door yet. I know that much for sure. Let's uh, let's just run down. I mean, I could jump off, but I want to see the. Once you get these, it's fine. You could just keep going. I think we're supposed to go down to the center, anyways. So nice little running segment. Yeah, it's good to pick up these while you go, anyways. Butcha! Always cut the grass. Butcha! I mean, there's sometimes stuff in and sometimes there isn't. This is a very long ass. Okay, I won't run so much. Jeez. Alright, alright. Come on. We're making our way all the way down here. For whatever reason. I forgot. I forgot what's down here. We're just about there. You know what? Fuck it. Beats fucking running around. Oh, wait. Young one. Child of destiny. Descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the goddess skyward. Take aim at the evil aura and unleash its power. Okay. By the power of Rayskull. I'm gonna say that fucking every time. I don't even know what that did. Ooh. Oh cool, now I can get back up very easily now. Is that all it did? Is that all I'm gonna get from this? Master Levy, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your sailcloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as dowsing. Oh god, dowsing is annoying. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Nah. Understood, Master. Pretty much, you can like set to different things and you hold it out your sword and it'll fucking turn purple and like... Do stuff. For example, it's gonna make me do it. So, see, now, the direction I'm pointing. Nothing's happening until I get kind of in the direction where Zelda might be. Clearly nothing right now. Oh my god, I'm dowsing. Oh wait. Oh, I don't have it set to her, that's why. See, now it's dowsing. See, now, see how it's telling me... Oh my god, I'm not doing fucking shield bash. Piss off. See, it's telling me, like, in that direction is where Zelda would be. It's a nice little way to get back up the fucking spiral area. For sure. Beads running. Alright. So I only got a couple more minutes left. I think there's like one more little cutscene area that I can get to. Oh cool, all the way back up top where I need to be. Is this even where I need to go? It would seem so. Ooh, can I pass finally? It looks that way. Sweet. You push open those doors, Link. Well, I think I'm going to save and I'm going to call it a video, actually, because you know how it goes. It's been about 30 minutes. Sorry there wasn't a lot of action. This one, a lot of talking and dialogue, but that's just how it happens. Alrighty, guys. Well, in the next episode, we will find out what the hell is going on, but I'll see you guys later.